Welcome into the Original Gangsters podcast, quick hitter edition, but I'll update everybody about the Dig for Bodies in New York uh, this month and what I found out about that location uh, out in the Hudson, up in the Hudson Valley uh, in Goshen, and then also in Campbell Hall. Two, uh, two horse farms were searched in relation to uh, the Gambino bust, uh, 10 Gambinos hit with racketeering charges tied to extortion and uh, uh, control over labor unions in the garbage and uh, construction trades. It doesn't look like they found anybody. We would know if they found, if they found any bodies. Uh, the indictment came down in the next week. Uh, they, they were digging for about a week on these two farms that were allegedly tied into the Gambinos. Now, I don't think they found anything, but I want to give a little insight into the property. Uh, from what I'm being told, the piece of property in Goshen uh, is a well-known Gambino Sicilian wing slash Gambino administration getaway, uh, retreat, if you will, um, a place that a lot of Gambino shot callers, heavyweights, powerhouses, uh, guys like Lorenzo Menino, uh, Frankie Boy Cali, Dom Sheffalu, um, the, the top players in uh, the Sicilian wing of uh, are, are guys that have used that place a lot over the last 15 years and if, if not longer, uh, and they use it for hunting trips. Uh, they use it as a place to go get away with their gumas and uh, as a place to go party. It's also been said to be used as a, a safe house location, a place where they hide people that are on the run from, from the law. I'm told that uh, just in this past year or two, they were, uh, hiding a, a Sicilian mob fugitive up there. Again, it's tied to the Sicilian wing in the Gambinos. They've, they've led this family. Uh, they've led the Gambinos since since the late 2000s. And they have a lot of ties to the, to the old Gotti regime. Uh, Jackie knows D'Amico, who we've talked about uh, in the last week or so on, on the OG in relation to his alleged trip to Sicily meeting with the Don looks like he got pulled out of retirement, but back in the day, uh, he was uh, Gotti's liaison to the Sicilians. Now, uh, you know, Menino is, is supposed to be the front boss. Uh, Shefalu is the alleged, you know, overlord. Shefalu uh, was very close to Gotti. Menino and Frankie Boy Cali got their start, uh, you know, when Gotti was still the boss. Frankie Boy Cali was in Jackie D'Amico's crew. And, uh, we all know that, that Frankie Boy Cali got gunned down, uh, assassinated in, in 2019 by a mentally deranged uh, Staten Island resident. Really had nothing to do with mob politics. But before that, him and Lorenzo Menino, who were best buddies, uh, spent a lot of time together up at that property. Uh, I'm told that in the early to mid-2010s, the Italian Don Sheffalu had a, a 70th birthday party up there. A weekend where everyone uh, got away. Uh, a lot of the family members got away. They brought girls, booze, entertainment. Um, I heard they rolled in some uh, uh, <laughs> blackjack tables. So, you know, it, it's a place that I, I, I'm told that if you're a member of the Gambinos, you know about. If you're a member of this leadership group, the Sicilian faction, uh, you know about or they know, you know, that's well known within that group uh, as a place that they like to go and, and hang out and uh, escape the city. Uh, it's up, uh, like I said, the Hudson Valley uh, by um, by uh, Poughkeepsie, uh, Middletown. And it looks like the, the feds came up empty there. Uh, they went all in on that dig. And I'm, I'm sure if they would have found anything, we would have heard about it by now. But uh, there were some people that probably were a little nervous or maybe not. Maybe they were, they were sitting there laughing, knowing that they were going to find, they weren't going to find anything. But uh, I just wanted to give you know a little perspective and insight into that one piece of property up in Hudson Valley that they were searching for uh, bodies at. Um, but it doesn't look like they found anything. But just wanted to let everyone know that is a, uh, a spot uh, that is utilized quite often 
by the Sicilian guys or the Sicilian faction of the, the Gambino family. And uh, it was a place that they thought was secluded and, and, and secret. And, and now it looks like the, the cover's been blown, the cat's out of the bag. They probably won't be using it anymore. Uh, just wanted to give the update, uh, but no bodies were found. And uh, the uh, the Gambino saga continues. Joe Brooklyn, Joe Lani, and all, all those guys that were busted earlier this month. Um, two of them just got out uh, for Thanksgiving, Danny Tantillo and uh, Fifi uh, Gratilioni. Uh, Gratiloni, but uh, the rest of them, I think, are in there uh, spending the holidays behind bars. I'm Scott Bernstein, OG Pod out. Mm-hmm.